Today we're going to be traveling to an elementary school that doesn't have electricity. I mean, barely any of them have electricity. We're going to be installing this solar panel system using profits from Safe Moon. This is my Safe Moon episode. We're at Art Tour Elementary. This was the first school where I really gave a lot of Lego away at. My children have spent a lot of time here. I met Francis here, and we're gonna be getting electricity to this building right here. Not see me with the mosquito net. One of the worst things ever is to be underneath a mosquito net and realize there's mosquitoes in the mosquito net with you. I basically almost fainted at that school. Thought for sure I had malaria. They tested me. I got some type of bacterial infection. But whatever, it's an adventure. I've got to get through this episode. I discovered Safe Moon on the Crypto Moonshots subreddit group. I saw that it was similar to Hoge in that it was deflationary. I thought more people might gravitate towards Safe Moon because it was on the Binance Smart Chain and the gas fees would be cheaper. I also kind of just wanted an excuse to try Pancake Swap. So I bought a couple hundred dollars worth the very next day. B Pro shot up to like two cents. I immediately started making plans to create this web series. Yeah, I forgot I even owned Safe Moon. My publicist, Jason Sims, pointed out that the guys from Safe Moon were interested in doing projects in Africa. I sold my reflection amount, like a free amount that you get to buy these solar panels and make this episode. I wanna show my support for the community. The subreddit group Safe Moon is likely one of the most enjoyable places on the internet. You know, whoever this guy is, I don't know who this guy is, but I'm not ashamed to admit that he inspires me a little bit. I, I know a lot of crypto YouTubers just bash Safe Moon. Crypto expert, who I really do like, he, you should subscribe to his channel. I think he does charity work too. His anti Safe Moon videos do bring up some good points, but how can he say there's nothing special about Safe Moon? Show me another project that's blown up this big billboards in Times Square. There isn't another community like the Safe Moon community. Is it like a cult? Do we all drink the turquoise flavored Kool-Aid? Is it a sophisticated global digital Ponzi scheme? I sure hope not. Cowboy from the Crypto Rodeo Show seems like half of all of his content now is just bashing Safe Moon. Look at this tile. Oh, is he trying to make these guys look like villains from a Batman? He talks about legitimate, real rug pulls where people have been defrauded and scammed and then talks about Safe Moon as though that's already happened with Safe Moon. Nobody's been scammed yet, guys. Most things that are too good to be true are, but not all of them. Somebody contacts you, wants to make merch for you, wants to help you produce your show, and then you block them. By the way, you did do a good job interviewing the CEO of BPRO. That was impressive. But you don't even like pronounce my name right. You got zero evidence that I'm a scammer. And you got zero evidence that Safe Moon's a scam too. It's going to give a very big difference. We're not going to charge our phones. And then also it's light. I want to thank the Safe Moon community for being so dope. This address here is specifically for Auto Tour Elementary. Any amount of Safe Moon that gets put into this address will go towards the next Safe Moon episode that I'm going to make in January of 2022. I have 600 pounds of Lego sitting on a pallet in California right now. We can give every kid here a half a pound of Lego. I want to put solar panels on this group of classrooms here. I want to put in rain gutters to collect water. And I also want to put in a playground. Let's do it. Someone already tried to scam me. Some dude hit me up on Twitter. His name is Sequoia Slants. He's like, hey, I made t-shirts for your channel. Send me your name and address. I blocked him real fast. I thought that was really sketchy.